Over the last nine months, Crestview's baseball team made it to the state tournament. Football team won its first ever playoff game. And now the basketball team is headed back to Columbus for just the third time in school history. Oh man, it's the best feeling ever to do it with my brothers out there. You know, we've been working hard at, at all summer, all the conditioning. It's, it's finally paid off. It feels great. It's huge. You know, we had a, a good football season. We had a good baseball season last year, and we're we're trying to do it here in basketball. Get a good start and take it take the energy into the baseball season. I'd say it's helped us tremendously. I mean, we've been in these situations before. We've had a ton of guys that have been around and have been successful in all of our sports that we've had. Um, it's just a tribute to all our kids, all our seniors. I mean, and going down to juniors, sophomores, freshmen. We just have a, a classy, great group of kids at Crestview, and I wouldn't trade them for the world. Just because you're a good baseball player or vice versa basketball doesn't mean that you're going to win and be successful, but, but I think when you have a unique group of guys that do it together, that's what we had. Um, I think it carries through. The Knights last went to the state tournament in 2003, losing the championship game to Marion Local. Oh, I remember. I had two cousins on that team, and uh, I remember them very well. They've, some of them came in and uh, played the alumni games with us. So uh, obviously we've seen tape of them, and we know uh, what it takes to win to get there. There, there are some, obviously, but to be quite honest with you, they, they really are unique in their own way. I mean. This team is different. I mean, we, we don't have the physical bodies that we had with that team. That team was physically just superior to a lot of teams. This team, that's not the case. Um, great kids on both teams. Um, kids who bought into our program. You know, that was year one with me. Um, so this one, you know, I've been here now 12 years. You know, I'm, I'm kind of immersed within the community, and, and, and I think that, uh, you know, my kids are in school now. and. and so, I, you know, I don't, they both are very special, but for, for me being here for a longer period of time uh, and being with our coaching staff that I've been with for a long time, it, it really makes this, this pretty sweet. Crestview will play in the late game Thursday night against New Madison Tri-Village, who beat Marion Local last night. Patriots with just one loss this season. With Crestview, Mark Kuntz, Sports Report.